Okay, dude, <clears throat> I'm going to give you one more video, and then I'm headed out, and I'm going to go fishing. Um, this is uh, this is a fly I call, you know, my little whiskey girl or the whiskey girl. Um, you know, its name comes from, uh, I, I caught a fish uh, on this fly. I, I just kind of, you know, designed this and, you know, kind of built this fly, and I ca caught a fish while I was actually, uh, you know, taking a sip off of... Uh, my uh, flask uh, that had some leftover Johnny Walker blue uh, in it from uh, you know a celebration we had at work one time so anyway what I'm gonna start off with I, I, I tie this normally very small size 20 uh, you know size 22 even uh, 18 um, uh, it is about as big as I'll go on it. Uh, right now I'm tying on a 16 just so that I can see the hook a little bit so that I can actually do this video uh, for you. But basically what I'm going to start off with uh, bronze dyed wood duck. Um, and you buy, buy these feathers in, the, in, in bunches if you want. Um, and uh, you know, a couple dollars for you know, hundreds of feathers. Uh, they're fairly cheap. And I'm going to basically just pinch off, you know, a handful, you know, a little finger full of fibers. I don't know. It's probably 10, 12, you know, 15 fibers. It's not really that important. Uh, what you're going to do is pull those onto the hook. And we're going to tie on, uh, you know, a, a tail that, uh, you know, is going to be, we'll say, the foundation of our fly. Okay. And then I'm, what I'm going to do is take some Zelon, okay, for you, for those of you guys that uh, have seen my videos before, I love, I love to use Zelon, um, it's just something that, uh, it puts a little sparkle in my uh, tail, and uh, I just like to use the, uh, use it on my flies, uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take and I'm going to tie that in, I'm going to pull it to length, the tail is not, it's not critical, it's, you know, I want that tail to look a little scruffy on this fly. Um, I don't need it to be nice and neat, you know, showing, you know, two or three tails. I, I want it to, want it to be more of a shuck than anything else. I'm going to leave that Z-line out uh, on the front because we're going to use that a little bit later. Then I'm going to use a material that I haven't used much, and I'll tell you what, it's, uh, you really have to watch it. I buy this online. It's basically called uh, it, it's it's peacock eye, um, and what it is it's a it's a peacock stem that's basically been uh, had all the uh, feathers and everything kind of pulled off of it. Uh, but it's very brittle stuff, so you gotta you gotta basically watch when you're uh, using this stuff because uh, it can break um, I'm gonna tie that on go up to the front I'll break my little tip off and then what I'm gonna use is my hackle pliers uh, to kind of wind a body it creates a nice segmented body for us okay? but you gotta be very careful with it uh, because it's uh, you know it, it, it will it will break on you I'm I'm gonna, I'm gonna even hit this with a little bit of head cement once I get the body tied on, uh, just simply because I don't want to uh, end up with a fly that uh, comes undone on the water. Okay, so there I, I've got it tied on. I'm gonna wind out to the end of the hook. Okay, and then I am gonna hit this. With a little bit of a uh, head cement uh, coating uh, because I just don't want uh, I don't want this fly to fall apart on me on the water okay and uh, come around there you go makes it shine a little bit too the head cement does so there you got a very thin body uh, you know for uh, your fly and uh, you know, and ultimately, you know, it, it's gonna it's 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 gonna hold it together, and it's actually gonna give it a little shine as well. Uh, then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take that same wood duck feather, and I'm gonna come down, and I'm gonna take, and I'm gonna cut a little V out of it. 
if you take a look at that feather, okay, I'm going to take and I'm going to cut the top, cut that top V right off of that, okay, to where I'm left with, you know, a feather that looks something like this, okay. It looks, it basically looks something like that, okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to, that's going to become our wing, okay. Uh, I, I don't want any stem in our wing, okay. I want all those fibers as, you know, as even as I can get them, okay. And then I'm basically going to tie on my wing up on the front of the fly, okay, and I'm going to pull it to length. I want this to be sort of an immersion style pattern, so I don't want a real long wing, okay, there we go. Tie that on, okay, and then I'm going to snip that off, okay. And what I'm going to do with my uh, Z-Line is I'm going to fold it right back over and I'm going to use that as some sparkle on my wing as well. Um, so now I've got uh, basically Z-Line tail and a Z-Line wing okay, that are basically going to give my uh, merger pattern a little bit of life. Okay. Then I'm going to take and I'm going to tie on a hackle. I'm going to use a blue done hackle here. You can use anything you got. Uh, you know, the... Uh, uh, grizzly would be fine in this case if that's uh, is that, if that's what you got handy okay um, and then I'm gonna dub the front I'm gonna use uh, some UV ice dub uh, it's a uh, tan color and I typically will mix in a little bit of olive with that I'm gonna come right underneath there and then I'm gonna go back behind the hackle and I'm gonna lift the wing because I'm gonna stand this wing up a little bit okay I want it to be a down wing don't get me wrong I want it to still want it to be a down wing okay but I want to I want to have a little bit behind it to where that wing will stand on it uh, you know and and not kind of fall flat back on the hook okay you know come around in front okay you can see that wing now stands up a little bit okay uh, and it'll fold back in the water don't worry about it uh, you know it, it definitely is gonna fold back in the water uh, and I'm going to wind a little bit of dubbing on the front here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to wind my hackle around. And very little hackle on this fly. Two wraps maybe. You know, it's like I typically do on some of my merger patterns. All I want is enough to give a representation of some legs. Okay. I'll pull that off, okay. Um, if you want, you know, I've gone as far as tying just a little bit of flash on the front, uh, you know, and uh, it, it just almost acts as, a, you know, we'll say, a, you know, an attractor on the front of this fly. Okay, I'm going to take and I'm going to snip off some of the extra hairs that I've got from my hackle. Maybe a little bit of dubbing. Okay, I'm gonna make sure I pull my dubbing back. Okay, I'm using uh, in this case I'm just gonna use a little bit of orange ice dub. Okay, put it on the front of there. Okay, and tie off. And there I have it. I've got my whiskey girl right there. Okay, and uh, tie off. You can take pull those hackle fibers off if you want I typically will trim the bottom just because I don't want this fly sitting up in the water I want it uh, kind of sitting down in the water um, you can even clip off the top if you choose to and just have legs on the side um, because uh, like I said this hackle is there for one reason it's there to represent legs okay and uh, I don't care really if the hackle is making it float so there you have it, um, my little whiskey girl. Okay, give you a close-up look at that. There you go. Give you a top view. View from the other side. So there you go. I'm going fishing.